And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Last time um, we got to the town of Pow after um, a couple of altercations. And um, we found out where the Black Dragon is. We also found out that there is a dark songstress singing dark songs. And uh, that has uh, incapacitated Mia and Jessica. So now we're down to three, and hopefully we can go rejoin Tempest for uh, some additional uh, support when we go over to the um, Black Dragon's Cave or Temple or whatever it is. I guess first we need to get permission from the Elder. But where is the Elder? You don't look like the Elder. Uh, you look like the person who I need to, um... Yeah, you're, you're the person who's looking for me to, to get the permission. Yeah, I'm not trying to leave town. I'm trying to go into this door. I mean, you haven't really seen Fresca, have you? Rat him out. Doesn't seem like our style, honestly. Is this the Elder? Swift blow to her golden throat. Oh boy. And she's dead. Pretty lady will be kidnapped by a man in big armor. Maybe having a fever dream. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of the, um, of in, uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Uh, that one, uh, town that, uh, you go into and the bell is turning everyone into pigs. Just that it's a random who gets turned into a pig. In this case, it's random who ends up getting sick. So where is the solder anyway? Because I feel like I've been pretty much everywhere. Oh, are you the elder? I don't know why I wasn't expecting a woman. I feel like when you when you're talking about the elder of a town or something it usually ends up being a guy but in this case it's a woman and i'm all, i'm you know what that's perfectly fine with me good job Weird that you have this little spot there.
Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to follow the instructions for this. Base immediately. Yeah. I want to exit to the northwest. Yeah. Dang. I think I'm just gonna go full auto for this, considering that we are short-handed. We're probably gonna need uh, Alex to use his skills as well, and also Kyle. Also, especially considering the fact that we have no healer right now. At her a little. I would have laughed if uh, if that hit would have been enough. Three healing herbs and a starlight. Jeez. That's the north. Who's that, Alex? Is it... Hail Tempest! You made it. Your timing is perfect. I've never seen monsters like these within the walls of the Black Dragon Fort. This holy sanctum has been desecrated by the Dark Songstress. And by Galleon. That evil slug slime trails all over the place. You're right. Now all we have to do is find him. Indeed. Let's hurry. And the guide specifically says, Do not touch the chest to the east. It is an MP trap that will suck away half of your party's MP. So apparently one of the skills that uh, Tempest has, wait, oh Flash Wind is probably, yeah there we go, blows away enemies, so um, we are able to evade attacks with this. Okay, so here we get a Silver Light. And an angel ring. Eee. Suckers. Okay, so there are some stairs over there, and that's where we want to go next. And they're giving us plenty of room to actually evade. So yes, there are more trap chests. There's one over to the west that is a trap. And then I'm gonna get caught on the corner. Oh, okay. So where I said th that there was a trap to the west, it's the west chest in uh, in this little, uh, I guess, alcove that we're in.
Honestly, Kyle, I think you would have done more damage with your regular attack. Four, e four healing herbs. This contains a dragon bandana. Which, if I had to guess, is probably Nash's. Sure enough. So this is a trap. Don't touch. Uh, do I want to go up or down? I guess one of these is a chat is a trap. Um, you know, apparently both of these are fine. You get a healing fruit and an insane sword. And I oh uh, yeah, we oh, man, the right place. I um, worry about um, Kyle's mental health here. And the dream bow, which will likely belong to Nash. An enemy's nightmare. Oh, that is, uh, hmm, there's something that very Castlevania about these enemies. Hey now, you look like you've seen a ghost. Uh, no, Kyle. I thought I heard someone speaking with a deep voice. <sighs> you have come. You who aspire to be a dragon master, I am the dragon which you seek. What? But your... My physical form has been stolen, stolen by the magic of the dark songstress. Now I exist only as a spirit. Though I am fighting her power, the songstress will soon be able to control the body she's, she stole from me. And she intends to use it to spread her black power to every corner of the world. Alex, you must destroy my flesh before that happens. It is the only sure way to prevent this plague from spreading any further. But if your body dies, Alex can't become the Dragon Master. Fear not, little one. The power of my soul will always exist within my armor. Cool. Alex, buddy, you're looking good. How's it feel to be, the, to be the new Dragon Master? Until you undergo my trial, Alex, you cannot become the Dragon Master. But how can I take the trial when you're not here to give it? My trial is simple. You must only find the purity within your own heart, Alex. 
When that purity was uh, what when that purity is revealed, your armor will shine bright and the trial shall be complete. You will at last become the Dragon Master our world so desperately needs. Purity, Alex. Purity. Hmm. So, this chest is trapped. This one has the insane armor, so... The, does that mean that uh, Kyle gets to become the insane master? For the slightly off. Now I, th I think uh, Kyle is probably looking for the impurity in his heart. But yeah, sure enough. We still can't equip the Dragon Ring. And uh, we still have a slot remaining for more Dragon Equipment on top of that. Uh, let's see. Also, these magic jerks are called Corona Masters. They, uh, they harness the power of the coronavirus, presumably. Well, they're all dead now. I guess you can take that as you will. That's our insane master Kyle. Alex levels up and his range increases. Man, there is all kinds of uh, room to juke. The Dark Songstress. I'm sorry, what? Luna! She don't look right. Luna, run! I don't think she's doing that. Alex, what's wrong with her? Come on, Alex. We have to slay this thing before it harms anyone else. No, Tempest, we can't. We can and we will. You saw what her song did to, to your friend in the village and to Fresca. Despair the dark songstress is to throw away their lives. What man who desires to be a hero would let that happen? Alex has been adventuring all this time to save Luna. She's not evil. Her songs are bright and beautiful. And I know Alex can break the spell Galleon's place on her. Alright, Alex. I owe you this chance, and I understand your feelings. But one chance is all I will allow you. And if you are unable to break the spell, she must be slain. She must, Alex. Luna. Luna, it's me, Alex. Get away. Stand back. Magic Emperor Galleon. No, hey! I'm thrilled you made it, boy. Nuna's voice has improved tremendously since you last heard her. In fact, my dear, 
Why don't you let your acquaintances here tune for old time's sake? I'm sure they'll, they're breathless in anticipation, and we wouldn't want to disappoint them. Yes, Master Galleon. Ah, it burns! My head! It's in my head! Get it out! Shut her up, Alex, now! We're all dead! Luna, please stop. Look at what you're doing to us. Luna. Yes, my sweet fountain of despair. Let the world hear your mournful call. The great power is yet locked deep within your soul, dear Luna. Sing it, sing out and call it forth from its slumber. And if the humans before us must perish as a consequence, so be it. can't control my body. Try to close your ears to fight it. Luna. So everyone starts paralyzed. Oh, that is very flashy, actually. But what am I supposed to do? I literally cannot do anything. Okay. That was that was scripted. Got it. We can't do anything, Alex. We're, par we're powerless against her. You know what to do. Luna's lost to you, Alex. Now finish her before our world pays the price for your indecision. What are we gonna do? I don't believe you've forgotten about us, Luna. I don't believe you're evil, no matter how hard Galleon tries to change you. Luna. Luna! Alex, it's you, Alex. Luna, Alex, I, I. Oh, if only it were that easy. Wouldn't that be the happy ending everyone paid to see? No, get away from me. Uh, Alex, help me. I will say that you have impressed me with your resolve, Alex. I designed my magic to destroy every fragment of Luna's memory. Yet you have revived it with nothing more than a pathetic little tune. Luna! Alex, oh Alex! Of course, all your efforts are meaningless. Events far beyond your understanding have been set into motion. And all the power of this world will soon be mine to control. Let her go, Galleon. Let her go now. And if I don't, what are you going to do, Alex? In fact, what can any of you impressive humans do? Heed my command, Black Dragon. Devour these pathetic children. Stop! Alex! Luna! The 
black dragon armor is glowing. And now, back to the task at hand. Ah! Luna, no! Well, that was cool. Uh, he is the Dragon Master, and even to the point where his sprite has changed, and it will pretty much stay that way for the rest of the game. Most of the rest of the game. Alex, look at you! Get away from her, Galleon! Get away from her or die! Helmet can a dorky needs more dragon horns. Okay, so now we can actually uh do some real fighting. Um This is a real boss, so I'm gonna go and use my supers. Alright, J pop, I got gotcha. you. Command. Excellent move. So he's still doing that. And that, uh, Definitely did a lot of damage, but uh, at the very least, uh, it didn't just paralyze us again. 463. Nice. Uh, do I have any items that restore everyone's health. Probably not, huh? The five angels' tears. Ah! All allies restore HP to max. So basically, Alex is our healer right now. Dragon Lament. Send to Netherworld. That's uh, all enemies. Alright, well let's go ahead and Zephyr Blade. And uh, you Shine Blade. Maybe I can have you be the healer, like the regular healer basically. Because, like, dragon healing is very expensive. It's basically something that I'd rather just use if we're um, getting down to the nitty gritty, basically. 
sent him to the Shadow Realm. Unfortunately, um, that particular attack is not going to have any effect on bosses. Attack him with an asterisk. This is Minecraft? No, I don't think we're dealing with the Ender Dragon. Alright, um... So you start doing Sword Dance. We keep doing Riot. We start doing Power Slash. And you keep using herbs. Ooh, that's a weakness too. Yeah, blowback would make it real hard if we were trying to do regular physical attacks, but um, given that we can just like use skills from all the way back here, it's not going to be much of an issue. a breath of fire. Wait, did you not do any healing? Hmm. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do dragon healing right now. Uh, you use riot, you use power slash, and you use a starlight on Alex. Hopefully, oh, you used the friggin' herb on Nash is what happened. Hopefully using this uh, after the dragon healing. Now, of course, you just could use it right now. Like a butt kiss. Oh, this might actually be bad. Nope, not going for the guy who's almost dead. Interesting. Using the, the power of the blue dragon to bring us all back to full health. Slice up that pretty face. More blowback. I appreciate the Black Dragon not using uh, Bolt Breath again, just for all the flashing it does. And I think this turn you're just going to get to actually attack as well. And even going to hog the first turn. If this kills him... Okay. This Tempest try, trying to go in for uh, for the kill here. Fire breath.
it'd be real cool if uh, before the end of the fight we actually were to. Uh... Oh yeah, like look at those look at those super bars. Like everyone's almost uh, all the way back up. I feel like this turn might do it though. You just keep Nash alive. Interesting that blowback happened second there. Oh, we're still going. Now heal yourself. There we go. We got there. 25,000 experience points gained. But you're still hungry. Alex levels up. Nash levels up. And Kyle levels up. Not surprising, everyone levels up. That was a crap load of experience. And even Tempest levels up, not that that really does anything for us because he's not going to stay in the party. Also notice that Tempest's, uh, it, uh, like his attributes actually went up. Like, Ramus, only his health went, went up, and he was longer, like, he was with us longer than uh, Tempest is going to be. Impossible! A Dragon Master! I see. <laughs> you continue to amuse me, Alex. Here you are, a supposed hero like Dime, and yet the most basic truths still elude you. You can't destroy me. That power has been has been and shall remain out of your reach. What's better, you can't even help your beloved Luna. But enough of these trivial things. Luna, it is time to awaken. Yes. Yes, Magic Emperor. Luna! I pressed that ahead of time. Let us leave these pathetic few, uh, fools unto themselves. Yes. Awaken, Black Dragon. Why we just kill the Black Dragon? Isn't this amusing? You're the Dragon Master, and yet I seem to control the dragons. <laughs> Stop! Hey, nerd. If you still want Luna back, Alex, I have arranged a meeting at the Grindery. I'm confident we can work out some sort of final understanding there. Come back! I find your demeanor quite endearing. I'm afraid you're, you aren't really in a position to be commanding anyone. You'll just have to come to us. See you on the frontier. <laughs> no, no, no. Thought there was a cutscene happening there, but uh, like a an anime cutscene, but uh, that did not happen. 
Anyway, we do not have Jessica in our party to take us out of here, but that is exactly why I always keep one warp wing on him. Back to my tent, Alex. You have to see if Fresca and your friends are all right. Are we ready to go? Anytime you are, Fresca. I hope we find them soon. Found them. <laughs> Fresca! Tempest! So happy you're, you're all right. Never been so worried. Mia! Jessica! You took so long. You took so long, we thought you, you guys might be lost in the fort. So we were headed over there to look for you. You had us so worried, Nash. Same goes for us, Mia. When I saw you collapse, I feared the worst. So what did you find in the fort? We found Alex's girlfriend. We found out that she was a dark songstress. No! Yes, it was definitely Luna. But not the Luna I know. Galleon is manipulating her. I'm sure of it, Mia. I've seen Galleon control the minds of others during his experiments for the guild. Forcing Luna to obey him would be all too easy. Where is Luna now? She left with Galleon and the Black Dragon to a place called the Grindery. On the frontier. Was this about the frontier? Laika! Have you been, Tempest? Are you keeping up with your archery practice? Of course. Thanks to your instruction, I've become the best in the prairie. <laughs> and to think I, you were just a little brat when I first came to this village. But I'm not here to catch up on old times, uh, Tempest. I'm here to speak with Alex. Congratulations, Alex. You gained the Black Dragon armor. Feels good, eh? Laika, you talked to have you talked to Might? Do you know if he's done with the airship yet? Not yet, no. But I think he's on the verge of completion. Why don't you return to the tower and ask him yourself? I can't believe it. We're gonna be flying to the frontier. We're gonna be flying to save Luna. Can't wait. You are a true warrior, Alex. The Magic Emperor will be no match for your strength. Thank you. So by the way, now that we are the Dragon Master, should be able to equip the Dragon Ring for 20 points of resistance. Uh, let's see. What do we want? So I can trade 10 points of agility. Wind and water damage have. Uh, that's uh, that's a tricky one, but I think I'm gonna go with this one because resistance up is going to uh, bring down the uh, the wind and water damage anyway. This little pick of uh, Dragon Master Alex here. Save. All right. Um, is there an item shop here? I feel like there are no shops here. I don't think there are any shops here. I was gonna get a, another warp wing just for good measure, but I don't think we're losing Jessica again. Oh no, there there is a shop here. No warp wings though. Well, 
Well, anyway, um, we gotta go. Because we want to talk to uh, Tempest again. I have another gift for you, Alex, and I think you'll find it to your liking. Oh, well, I guess we don't have to pull the uh, the pedestal to get the Master Sword in this game. Jeez, now why don't I ever get presents like that? Tempest. I insist, Alex. This weapon has been passed from chief to chief for many generations. But I'm an archer, Alex, not a swordsman. Whereas you seem to prefer a sharp blade. And this is as sharp a blade as you'll ever find. Alright, let's go ahead and equip that Master Sword and then let's set off to fight Ganon, I mean, uh, the Magic Emperor. Ganon, Galleon, a lot of common letters there. Okay, so my guide is advising me of some missable items here. So we want to use the white dragon wings and go to land. Now you can say, well, excuse me, princess. Now I still kind of miss the, um, the videos that the Anatat experiment put out. I mean, the, the, I think the same group is still doing things, just that, um, they're doing it like they're baking in the annotations rather than using YouTube's annotation feature that no longer exists. We want to enter the house just north of Althena's statue. And talk to the old man. Your Dragon Master? Congratulations! Although I shouldn't be too surprised after what you did for our village. Alex, this is long overdue, but we'd like to make you an honorary citizen of land. What do you say? Sure, why not? I gladly accept your offer. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. This is a wonderful occasion. Honey, bring out the champagne. Need to remake your Pinbot LP video. All that work with annotation is gone. Yeah, and kind of the same goes with the very first video that I ever posted to YouTube. Um, maybe someday I'll come back to that. Oh, wait. You kids aren't old enough to drink yet. How about a glass of fresh-squeezed Nenza orange juice? As long as it's watered down with ale, you bet. Oh, Kyle. <laughs> no, Biggie. I'm intoxicated by, the, by your beauty, Jess. Oh. Oh, my. Come on, it's time for a toast and a speech. Speech! Cheers! Ah, you dumb cat. To the birth of our land's newest citizen, and to the birth of a dragon master. Well, we're a citizen of land now. I wonder what that's going to do for us. Let's go to Meribia. No loot, he needs to remain pure. Who needs to remain pure? Alright, now we gotta go to Ramus' shop. And speak to the bunny girl. Oh my. And uh, apparently these things are going away. Which really sucks. Ah. Alex needs to remain. I'm pretty sure that's not going to be a problem. So, yeah, we. Like, these items are going away. So, if we're going to get them, we're going to get them now. 
Um, well, this sucks. I hadn't planned for this. So let's go to Vayne, and uh, I'm going to show you the thing that I was doing to um, to grind for silver. And we're going to need about 50,000 more than we currently have. Which shouldn't take too long. But I'm going to uh, show you guys the... Um, the encounter that I've been using, and then I'll uh, go ahead and break the video and uh, see on the other side of this grind. This fight right here, and there's probably some better fights to, to uh, grind on. So just go full auto on this and um, generally you'll get uh, a lot of money out of it. Ah, uh, ran out of, of uh, ran out of uh, range. There we go. Why did you do power sweep on nothing, you ass butt? But basically, the the Chiros are especially what what you want to uh, to try to kill. Because th those are the ones worth the big bucks. They're worth a thousand apiece. And there we go, 2300. We get another Chiro. So I guess I guess I could probably sell those too. Anyway, gonna do some grinding, and uh, we'll be back in just a bit. All right, we are back. So let's buy these things that uh, we won't be able to buy later, apparently. So as I was saying to the uh, to the live stream here, but I don't think it got saved to um, to the video at this point. Um, basically, Chiros, aside from the fact that they drop a thousand silver each also have a pretty decent chance of dropping a Chiro's Tail that you can sell for another 6,000 silver. So um, pretty good uh, pretty good place to do some grinding. So when equipped these items give Jessica and Kyle an extra art skill or spell. That does mean I would have to get rid of one of these things, and I think I would get rid of the barrier ring first, because the fresh ring will uh, prevent the things that can prevent Jessica from actually um, healing in the first place. So she gets Althina's doll, and he gets the Brigand Medal. And that gives us... And Jessica gets the Judgment Litany for instant death for all enemies. Which apparently is free. I don't know if it's a super or what, but like that seems overpowered. And uh, you get Break Dive, Desperate Offensive. I'm guessing these are supers, because like otherwise they would not be free. Okay, so next up, we are going to Reza. So now we want to go to the uh, Thieves' Market. 
Thieves Bazaar, I guess it's called. Which I guess it I guess it is a, a little bizarre. So I think I want to talk to you. Yes. Uh, so I think this is a thing that would have been useful at some point, but I don't think it's... Actually, hang on. Yeah, so I want to get both of these actually, and both of uh, like both of these items also give Nash and Mia an extra spell. The silver darts, I don't think, uh, I don't think those go away. At least uh, it doesn't seem like they go away. And in any case, they're um, they're not our best equipment anyway. Uh, you don't need the bromide. You can just look at Mia. She's right there. Uh, so you get the guild emblem. And uh, instead of a fortune ring, I think, I'll give you the master ribbon. Um, no. Skills. So now Nash has Spark Wave. So AE shocks into paralysis. And Mia has double spell, fire and ice assault. All enemies. Okay. Uh, so with that, let's go over to Lightning. Because now that, uh, now that we are properly decked out, we are ready to take a trip into the Forbidden Forest. Da 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 Like this is definitely something that you can do before becoming Dragon Master, but definitely after becoming Dragon Master is the better time to do so. Someplace real cool in the woods. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think Kyle is going to be our savior here. So the monsters here are level forty to forty-five. Just so you know, uh, if you get into a battle, have Alex use Dragon Lament, and Jessica should use Banish Litany on whatever looks the most dangerous. Everyone else should just defend or run away, it's your call. Make sure Alex has sufficient MP to cast the spell. But this place isn't as difficult as it was in previous versions of the game, because you might recall we were here before, and I was able to make it through a fight. In the PlayStation version, that would have just obliterated me, just immediately. Because the point of this area is not to fight your way through, it is to dodge the crap out of everything. Okay. So I am going to be using a guide for this. The same old guide that I've been using. I'll put this a little closer to, because uh, I'm going to need to refer to this very quickly. Uh, so there's an Ammonite snail patrolling to the north when it heads northeast out of view. 
Try and sneak by by heading north and hide out just to the west. Like this. Uh, wait for it to wander south, and then we gotta go northeast. Yeah. Well. Okay, there is a goblin north of the opening. You may have to fight it. You may get lucky and make it by. Hey, look at that. Oh, geez. I haven't made it actually past him. Now I have. There we go. And just for good measure, I'll save here again. Oh my goodness. It's in this box. Can I open the box? It has 10,000 monies in it. So this is where you are forced to battle. There is a goblin and a Cairo thing to the southwest. Engage the goblin, avoid the Cairo. After battle, wait for the Cairo to go west. Then sneak by to the south and go southwest in the corner. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, we, we, that would have been possible to get by, but, um, let's see, we want to use what, Dragon the Mint on all enemies, uh, Nash, you run away. Uh, you are going to use Banish Litany on anything that looks particularly nasty. Mia, you run away. Kyle, you run away. As long as at least one party member can run away. Then uh, even if everyone else dies, we're still fine. That cow might be dead, though. No? Oh, there he goes. That's casually 92 damage. But you see what I'm talking about? This place is extremely dangerous. And we want to spend as little time fighting as possible. And unfortunately, dra um, our Dragon Master here was the last one to act. Wakey, wakey. And the experience in this area is really not that great either. Uh, let's see. There we go. So, a cheer over there. We want it to go west so we can go south. There we go. And southwest in the corner. Get by this guy and this guy. Hmm. There we go. I think that's it. So. Why was it so difficult to get to this area, you might ask? Well, this is the other spring of the goddess Althena. The one for women. <laughs> the 
Didn't realize I was going to start playing immediately. <laughs> The thing is, we have two bars of soap. And there are two girls in our party. That one didn't play as immediately. And so that's kind of why I wanted the Reminiscer. So that I can put that video up on YouTube and not get banned on Twitch. <laughs> I don't know if that would have been enough to, to do that, but YouTube tends to be a little more lax, especially considering that, uh, you know, there's... Parts are covered up. And dang way, we did that now. Let's get out of here. Jessica, with your skin so bright, get us the hell out of here tonight. I guess I gotta go back into the actual forest before I can actually, uh... I do remember, though, trying to get to... Uh, this area while Luna was still in the party and frankly it is not possible to do that because by the time you get access to this area uh, Luna is no longer in the party and uh, there is no cutscene for uh, for Luna anyway so now that we've dealt with that uh, let's uh, bring this up again here and let me go over to the other side. So apparently it is possible, by the way, for the same scene to play twice. So, I, so ideally I would have wanted to save before using those bars of soap. I did get both of the scenes. Okay, so now let's go back to a town so that we can actually use the Dragon Wings. Uh, da -da -da -da. Dragon Wings. Oh, we're going to Might Slot. Which, using the dragon wings, brings us to the top of, uh, of the tower. You've returned and brought more people with you. Nah, just tell them to stay out of my way. The damned airship isn't done yet. <laughs> It'll be finished by the morning. I'll be upstairs making final adjustments, so stay here and don't touch anything. And that goes for your pack of sweet-smelling friends as well. Nah. He's even more charming uh, than you made him out to be, Alex. And by the way, did he happen to mention where we're supposed to sleep in here? It's all right, Nash. I'm sure he'll warm up to us in time. Let's find a place to rest. Well, it's looking pretty good so far, at the very least. Looks like it's about ready to go. Tomorrow's the day, Jess. Tomorrow's the day we get take we take on the evilest guy in the history of the world. 
Do you think we're gonna just scrape out a victory or will we completely embarrass him? Think you're as overconfident as always, you big fool. <laughs> Stop it, you're getting me all excited. Hal, what's wrong? Before we go, Jess, I have to tell you something. I have to tell you that I... That I... Can't hear you, Cal. Your voice is trailing off. Nah, it's nothing. What? Come on, Kyle. You can't tease me like that. Tell me. It says nothing, Jess. Now be quiet and leave me alone. Be quiet? Is that how you treat the woman to whom you're about to confess your love? <laughs> love you? How could anyone love your squeaky voice and your bad attitude? My attitude is just fine until you open your big mouth, Kyle. I bet these two have been fighting with each, each other since the, since the first time they met. Like an old married couple. I guess that's how it works. Ah, uh, no, I'm not married. Tomorrow we head to the frontier. Aren't you scared, Mia? Aren't you scared, Mia? I know things you don't, Mia. I know for a fact that Galleon is immensely strong. Much stronger than you, Alex, or anyone else believes. Oh, Nash. If we choose to fight him, Mia. I'm gonna die. You're probably right, Nash. And I am scared. So why are you fighting? Because it's my duty, Nash. It's my duty as the next leader of the Magic Guild to protect the goddess from harm. That's right, Mia. You're the next leader of the Guild. That's why we can't just throw your life away like Alex and the others. What? You, are you saying you're throwing my life away? Ow, up yours. Why don't you just stay here, Mia? I'll fight Galleon in your name. Just don't do this. Thank you for your concern, Nash, but I'll be fine. I used to think about a lot about how powerless I was, Nash. Yeah, that's not true. I was born to take over the Magic Guild. I was reminded of it every day of my life. But the more I pondered my destiny, the more certain I was that I could never fulfill it. I knew I could never be a great leader, leader like my mother. Hmm. I was drowning in my own fear and uncertainty, Nash, but not anymore. I finally realized what I should have known so long ago. I have to live in the present. I can't worry about what could be or what might be. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make a difference right now. And when, the when, the time uh, when the time comes to take over the Magic Guild, I know I'll be ready. Mia, yeah, I've always been so strong, but I... Alex, it's getting, it's getting late. Why don't we go to sleep? That way we'll see Luna even sooner. That's a good idea. Ah, patience, boy. Delays are temporary, but mediocrity is forever. Yeah. I guess I was supposed to talk to Nash last, but uh, whatever. Face it, Alex. Even our combined strength isn't enough to match Galleon's power. It doesn't matter whether or not you're the, you're the Dragon Master. Nothing matters now. Nash? My work is done! Excellent! Let's go thrash ourselves one Magic Emperor. If we hurry, we can probably be home in time for dinner. Don't get too cocky, Kyle. We're going to be fighting Galleon and the Vile Tribe on their home turf. Doesn't matter where we fight him, Jessica. We're going to win. Ash, what's wrong? You can tell something is troubling you. We're going to fight Galleon. We're going to fight Galleon? <laughs> I've never heard anything so absurd in my life. Nash, you've all seen Galleon's power and you're deluding yourselves if you think you can beat him. If you travel to the frontier, you're all going to die. 
Don't, uh, don't any of you understand that? Nash, what are you saying? What's wrong with you? What? You better not say what I think you're about to say. Or I'm going to tear you to shreds, you two-faced whiny little runt. Galleon knows everything, Mia. I've been reporting to him since the beginning. I'm not letting you go to the frontier, Mia. I won't let you throw your life away. <laughs> well done, Nash. Very well done. I have only one question. Which one of you wants to bleed first? I'll never forgive you for this, Nash. Never. You have only yourself to blame. You're prisoners of foolish ambition. Uh, this is starting to feel like badly written adventure story. No. You're in that adventure story. You better start believing in them. This can't... can't be happening. Sorry, Mia. Touching but unnecessary, Nash. You made the only rational choice. What the hell was he thinking? What the hell has he done? He's told Galleon about everything we've done. And now he's telling Galleon that we're going to the frontier. The damn brat destroyed my engine! <sighs> sure you won't be easy at all to repair. That engine was a masterpiece. So what are you saying? We can't go to the frontier? Not unless you happen to know more about engine repair than I do. <laughs> of course we don't. Who says we had, we'd have to repair it at all? What do you mean, Kyle? Why fix it where well, we can replace it? Of course, we can use the engine from Shira's balloon. Shira? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you that anything made by him is entirely unreliable. Sorry, old man, but we don't have time to, to wait for you to make repairs. Let's head back to Reza and look for the balloon. All right, well, um, well, we're going to be going to Reza right after we go somewhere else. Um, hang on. Yeah, we got to go to Ilum first, actually. Also, I don't think that uh, you are an option for someone bleeding, Zero. I mean, if you want to bleed, I'm not going to stop you. I physically cannot. I'm here on the other side of the other country. But, yeah, don't hurt yourself. Oh, right, you're the Creepazoid who is obsessed about Mia. You're a friggin' weirdo, you know that? I'm taking this, by the way. So now that we're out of there, let's take a look at what he was um, holding on to. I know there's at least one bromide I don't want to show. I don't know if it's this one. So I'm just gonna go to the run screen for a second. Yeah, it's definitely this one. <laughs> wow. Can't show that on Twitch. Oh gosh, oh heck, oh gosh. Yes, indeed. So 
So that's probably gonna go in the video with the um, the clips from the Reminiscer. Uh, let's see. So next we need to go to Reza. And if you'll recall, when we crash landed in Reza, the uh, Thieves Guild kind of made a way with um, with our balloon. So probably they have the engine. But we want to talk to this man. Just want the engine of the air balloon, huh? All right, it's all yours. For Thirty thousand silver. What? Do you know how much money I could? How much I could? Uh, you know how much brewer could buy with that kind of money? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we're not paying that amount, by the way. I don't really care if you get the engine or not, but I'm not the one who needs it, am I? We could just pay the money. Or we could go tell on this guy. <laughs> Beautiful granddaughter's safe, and it's all because of you. Think, what's that? It's not because of you. Yes, well, as long as Lily's safe, I don't care who's responsible. You could thank us even more if you told us where our air balloon went. And it's probably hauled off by the thieves, but to the thieves is alright. I'm guessing that you need it back? I'll ask around and see if I can get you a price break. So you might recall that when, uh, like, when we were here originally, we did end up talking to Lily a couple of times. I don't know if uh, that unlocked this little sequence of events. I'm not entirely sure what it did. Yeah, I talked to the guild chief. Yeah, I said to give you the engine for free. Yeah, I hate your kids. <laughs> Mel teach you to steal from us, pal. Nah, hush up. You kids are thieves too, remember? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. Well, we have that engine now. Here is the engine, sir. This year's engine. Hate to admit it, but it's well made. As good as anything I'd make, and I assure you. Duh. Could have been a great adventure with more training, but never mind that now. I'll go upstairs and install this into the airship once I make it perfect. Which won't take long. You and your friends can wait here, and I'll remind you all to not touch anything. Yeah. This is great, Alex. We're finally going to make it to the frontier. Hey, Laika. What's this? Why aren't you all taken off yet? Because Nash destroyed the, air the airship engine. He's been working for Galleon all along. 
and all so happy to say that. That's terrible! So what about the airship itself? It's fine. Mine is upstairs installing the engine from our first balloon. Well then, there's nothing left to do uh, for us all to do, but wait. Well, let's chat with everyone. Alex, you have to understand that Nash was thinking with his heart. In his mind, he didn't believe he was betraying us. He was protecting us from harm. I know how she feels, but what Nash did was so wrong. I'm gonna claw Nash's eyes out the next time I see him. It's not just what he's done to us, it's what he's done to Mia. When she's angry, Jessica's more like a cat than I am. Damn. Nash is an idiot. How could he not understand the grief he's causing Mia? He should have thought about the consequences of his actions. Since when did Kyle become an expert on relationships? The frontier is a cursed land. I don't know what's out there, Alex. No one does. Are you, are you certain you're ready to venture there? Of course. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let me down, Alex. In fact, there are times when I wish I was as brave as you. Looks like Might has an announcement to make. The airship's complete. Come upstairs and have a look at aerodynamic perfection. Alright, well it seems that our, uh, our ride is all done. And so we're pretty much ready to go. To uh, to the to the frontier as soon as we're ready. Well, yeah, we're ready to go as soon as we're ready. We are ready to go. Unfortunate that we ha we have no time left to do that. <laughs> Ending a little early, but um, we're about to get into some stuff here. So I feel like this is the time to uh, finish up. So I want to thank y'all for watching. Uh, thank you to uh, Zero, Grim, J-Pop, and Tyrion for hanging out in chat. And J-Pop with the resub and Grim with the bits. The next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at uh, 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Standard Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans. And that takes us around the week round wheel to our next uh, long run stream next Tuesday at um, 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. We're going to head over to the frontier and see what lies there. You can follow me on Co-host if you're there, co-host.org slash coolyourmzx. Uh, you can also, if you uh, are so generous and uh, have the money to do so, uh, consider supporting me on the Barapay and coolyourmzx there, or uh, one time on uh, do one-time donations on Stream Elements at the link in the chat. So that's going to do it. Thank y'all for watching, for hanging out. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.